Fortnite 2. Yep, you heard it right. You read the title right as well. Don't worry, you're not going blind. A lot of you have doubts and I'm going to clear them all. Here's a little teaser for the game and all I can say is I am beyond excited. Honestly, I do want to be a part of this game because it is going to be crazy. Cypher PK, Ninja, Tim the Tatman, Courage and Nick Merckx are teaming up together like some Battle Royale Avengers and are making Fortnite 2. Now, obviously, it's not called Fortnite 2. Wow. They don't want Epic Games to start suing them before they even, you know, create this game. But it's officially called Project V. And that is just the name of the game that they're starting out with this project. I'm 100% sure that it will have an official name once it's in development and it's close to publishing. But just look at this teaser that they've provided. It is so crazy. Um, the skins that are in the game, obviously these are just characters that they've created themselves. But taking a look at this, I am in... I guess I'm in love with how um, they've teased this. It basically just looks like Fortnite, and that's the reason why I said Fortnite 2. Now, these five Battle Royale specialists are going to create the ultimate Battle Royale experience for the community. They saw the opportunity that Epic Games had given them with Unreal Engine, and they've decided to work together to make the best Battle Royale game in existence. Now, this isn't some small project that they can just pop out whenever they want, and it might not even be the way people are imagining it. First up, a battle royale game inspired by five battle royale veterans, and I'm not just talking about Fortnite, they've been playing battle royale games in the past and even other shooter games in the past and creating content for those games, so these guys know what battle royale is all about. They've been competing, creating content, uh, collaborating with other creators, so they know what makes a battle royale game and with that they're making it with the community they're hiring developers the community and they're hiring all these people to create the best battle royale game and that is really really good it's going to be community focused the map the features the creativity of the game it's going to be really nice and the atmosphere for everyone is just going to be really amazing and i guess that's the biggest pro of this uh, this whole thing the fact that these five people who've played Battle Royale, who've created content, who know how the game is fun, they know what's fun, they know what's, I guess, not fun. Um, they are creating a game for the community. Now, moving on to, I guess, the biggest thing is that it's being built in UEFN. Now, yes, UEFN is amazing, and the things that you can create is just mind-blowing, like the trailers that you see, the dragons, the graphics. It is crazy. Unreal Engine is incredible. But, the biggest but is that it's going to be a battle royale game made in a battle royale game. It's going to be Fortnite 2 made in Fortnite 1. Now I know that's confusing but they won't be able to do everything that they want. It's, it's not going to be a game at this point. It will just be a game mode that's been developed which will I guess basically just be Fortnite at the end of the day if you think about it. Obviously there'll be awesome graphics, uh, there'll be some awesome features. Uh, but at the same time, it's still restricted to what Fortnite or Epic Games or Unreal Engine lets players and the community build in their game. So you can't just add whatever you want. You kind of still have to stick into Fortnite premises. You kind of just have to do what they're doing. And even like the skins and stuff like that, like the teaser that they've given, they've shown us five different skins, five different characters. Obviously, it's just a teaser. Obviously, it just shows like the five people. But at the same time, they're not going to be in the game. Like these characters, these skins, they won't be in the game. At the end, it will just be 100% Fortnite, just with a new map, new features, and stuff like that. And I know this stuff isn't easy. It will take a lot of time, and that's why Cypher PK did say it will release around 2024, but I suspect it will take longer than that for sure. I think it's still in the planning stages rather than the building stages. I think they're still going through it, but how you imagine it, I just imagined a new game, a complete new game that these guys are making, but it's more so of a game mode, and that's what I don't want it to turn out to be. It's it's obviously going to be super hyped, a lot of people are going to play it, but at the same time, it's just going to be another game mode that's added into Fortnite. 
and I guess that's just kind of sad. If these guys actually created a game, once again, it's not easy. Even this, like this project that they're taking upon, even like building this whole game mode is going to be hard. But if they made a game with all their features, like completely different, a whole new application, you don't even have to run it through Fortnite, it would be pretty damn crazy. But let me know what your thoughts are on Fortnite 2. Are you excited for Cypher PK, Ninja, Tim the Tapman, Courage and Nick Merckx to bring out this Battle Royale um, new game that I guess they're considering Project V. Let me know what you guys think about this game. I mean, I am definitely excited no matter what turn and no matter what path it goes through. It is super exciting. I would love to be a part of it, but this is going to be something crazy that's going to be building for the next, I guess, couple of years, and hopefully it keeps going for many years to come.